So the score is already with one exception. I need to assign rule sets within Notion for the instruments that I'm going to use in Studio One. So you have to plan this out a bit and you have to at least know what instruments you're planning to use in your final recording. In this case I'm going to be using Spitfire Studio Woodwinds and Brass and Spitfire Chamber Strings along with Orchestral Tools Berlin Strings First Chairs. So one thing I need to do is I need to duplicate the staves for the strings so that I can assign a separate rule set for the main body of strings, the tutti strings, as well as a staff for each uh, first chair instrument as well. So I do this through Notion score setup. And basically what I'm going to do is uh, after the violins I'm going to add a violin solo. Sometimes I have this problem where it goes to the wrong place so I have to move it. After the second violins I'm going to add another violin solo. After the violas I'm going to add a viola solo. And after the cellos I'll add a cello solo. That's done. So I've now basically uh, doubled the staves for the strings. There's a first chair for each uh, of the first four sections of the strings. I'm going to go in and rename each of those instruments. So this, for instance, will be the first violin. Just as some housekeeping. And the reason this is important is that these names will actually transfer over as uh, track names when you export them to Studio One. So this may seem a little uh, grandmotherly or a little uh, uh, finicky, but it really does help me in keeping track of what is doing what, especially with, any, uh, with a score of any significant size. So there, that's done. Sorry you had to watch that housekeeping, but now I have violins, first violin, violins, second violin, violas, first viola, viola, cellos, uh, first cello, and double basses. And now I need to apply rule sets. If you haven't used rule sets in Notion, uh, the purpose of them is to automate uh, articulation changes in the instruments. So basically you set up a rule set that contain all your key switches or control changes uh, and it transmits those to the instrument itself. In the case of this workflow it's absolutely essential because what the articulation changes are in the uh, score will be automatically sent over to Studio One when we do an export. You'll see this when we start exporting. So assigning the appropriate rule sets for each instrument is absolutely essential at this point in the, uh, in the Notion score. So let's uh, use rules or shift Y. So when you click use rules this dialog box opens, the rules dialog box, and you can import rule sets, which is the first step. I keep all my rule sets in a folder called Notion Custom Rules, and you see I have a lot of rule sets set up for all the different instruments that I use. Uh, I'm going to use two rule sets in this case, that's all I'm going to need. A Spitfire UACC rule set that I've set up, and a Berlin Strings First Chairs rule set that I've also set up. But those are the only two I'm going to need in this case. So I'm going to open those and then I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Shift and Y to open up the rules dialog box again. And so you see those two rule sets are now populated in the rules um, window showing you all the available rule sets imported into your score. So the one I'm going to use mostly is the uh, Spitfire UACC 
MJM2 rule set. I'm going to click use. You'll notice that the rule set attaches itself to your cursor. And this rule set is set up, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about this, to control basically any Spitfire library that I have. The reason it can do that, you might think if you're familiar with rule sets and key switches, you might say, whoa, 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 how is that going to work? Because, as you may know, every instrument has a different range, and key switches typically have to be transposed uh, for different instruments. But let's take a look at one of these, and I'll show you how this works. It's really a, a very remarkable system. I'm going to edit this rule set so you can see how the rule set is set up. It's set up with flags. If you're not familiar with rule sets, there's a lot of information out there about how to write rule sets. Um, but this is a universal rule set that I use for every Spitfire library that I have. And once I get through all the flags, uh, you'll see the actual um, rules themselves. The flags simply call a rule, and the rules are like this. So for a legato articulation for any instrument, if Notion sees a flag slur, which is triggered by a slur found in the score, it will send a CC message. Not a key switch, not note information, but a CC message, a MIDI change control message. That's what CC stands for control change message, uh, and it will send it on channel 32, and it will send message 20. And that is a universal message to set any Spitfire instrument to legato mode. So that's how these work. It's a pretty remarkable system that Spitfire has developed. They've actually made it open to any developer. So the only other one that I need to assign is for the first chairs. So I choose the Berlin Strings first chairs rule set, and I assign that to the first violin, the second violin, the first viola, and the first cello. So now the Notion score is set up. It's really complete and ready for export. It's got a um, end tempo track, uh, which will be transmitted to a tempo track in Studio One. It's got all the note data it needs, uh, and it's got rule sets. Ah, it doesn't have all the note data it needs, I stand corrected, because I have to copy the information uh, from the uh, Tutti sections of strings to each um, first chair. I do that by selecting, uh, using Command-Shift-A, I select all the notes on the staff, copy that, and using a simple copy-paste tool, I paste it into the first chair. So I'm going to do that for all of those staves. You'll notice that use of the keyboard commands makes this work really quick and easy. Uh, but you also may notice, if you're very observant, that the, uh, uh, I'll blow it up for you here, it's when I copied the st staff information, it also copied the rule set. So the rule sets are wrong for the first chairs. I have to go back, select Berlin Strings first chairs again, and change those out. It's a very simple operation. So now the score is complete. It's ready. It will transmit. MIDI information, it will also transmit control change information, whether it is uh, MIDI control change information in the case of the Spitfire rule set, or traditional key switch information, note information, in the case of the Berlin Strings first chairs. They don't use that UACC convention, I wish they did, but it hasn't been adopted widely uh, by the industry. Okay. Next, we'll look at actually the command to transmit information from Notion to Studio 